And his name is John Cena! Do, 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 do! Okay. Legends, Target, exclusive, John Cena. The same set that has Vader, the Diamond Dallas, and the Bruce Beefcake. Both those were online only, which kills me because I really wanted that Diamond Dallas. But good luck freaking getting him because Target is awful. Good luck getting anything good, especially online. Because even if you order it, none of your luck, they'll probably just send you an email saying, We canceled your order. But uh, this is actually kind of a two-for-one uh, video. This is not only a, a unboxing and review of this John Cena. This is also this week's clearance find. These you can actually find at some of your local targets for roughly around twelve to thirteen dollars, which is about you know seven to eight bucks off retail. I don't necessarily need this John Cena. I've only got one other Cena in my collection. It's actually from a older Jax line. Uh, so it's kind of cool to be able to get what, you know, it's not necessarily what you should consider first appearance John Cena, but something adjacent, but of course also getting the Vince McMahon puppet. Got a lot of good plans with that, so I can't wait to get that out. Uh, otherwise, a little picture of old school Cena right there on the side, and of course on the back with a nice little blurb in case you want to read that, pause the video. Otherwise, standard Legends issue packaging uh, from the Target exclusive, so let's go ahead and get them open. Oh, come on, tape. Nothing's going to work today. I do like how they have the Legends little background piece in there. I mean, I don't use it, but it's kind of nice. I guess if you wanted to put something like that in your detail, that could work out. But get Cena out. We've got an extra head with it, which actually is what I refer to as the Ernest head. Because he's got the weird dad Cena hair, which makes him look like freaking Ernest. If you know anything about Ernest, man, you're going to go see Vern, man. All Ernest, man. Tell you what, Ernest, man. Okay. Anyway, so uh, typical elite style body. Um, all the posability you can come to know and love from an elite figure by Mattel. Usually uh, they do pretty well in the actual body department on these. I rarely have any issues with uh, the Posability functions on these figures working as intended. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it first. The colors on this thing I do like. The orange and blue uh, looks really great. It, it just pops well on this figure. Don't really see any substantial paint flaws. So that's nice. Thank you for that. Even the boot laces are pretty clean. Uh, the face scan on it, not bad. Shorter hair, you know, old school. You know, first run John Cena, smiley face. Let's go and look at the swappable head. I like to refer to him as Ernest Cena. Dad Cena. Come over. It's so weird. He's a little more grumbly. Uh, this is obviously uh, substantially different. I mean, you can definitely tell there's a... You know, I will say it is kind of nice because it does have that real young baby face Cena while this is more the grizzled, I've been through some shit Cena. So that's kind of nice. Um... Let's see how the head swaps out. See if it okay. Head popped off pretty easily, and the replacement goes on pretty well. Okay, doesn't look too bad on the body either. There is a slight uh, skin tone difference. This is slightly paler than the other uh, parts of his body, but that's okay. Um, it you know that kind of thing happens, and it may just be lighting on my part too. But who knows? Uh, he's definitely got the, you know, you can't see me hand and because that's not been running to the ground. But there are several other hands that we can choose from. We've got ourselves a hand to hold this sweet, sweet microphone with, which is actually kind of a nice little bonus. You never can have enough microphone accessories in your collection. Uh, another you can't see me hand for the other side in case you need to do something that way. And then you've got two closed fists. Um... No flips, just fist detached from the body. And then you've got the McMahon puppet. Pretty cool. Uh, interesting little add-on piece. And, of course, if you got the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt Fiend figure, uh, it'll be a nice addition to put along with the rest of the puppets uh, from that. I wonder if you can actually pop off his hand and just kind of put his wrist up the puppet's ass. And... Uh, you know, I know that sounds... Hey, check. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Boom. Is your mind blown? Is it blown? Mine's blown. Look at that. Perfectly 
fits in there. I mean, literally, like I'm holding it, I'm holding the whole figure up by how well that grips in there. That is tremendous. I did not expect that to be a thing, but there you go. Look at me. Oh, God damn it, pal. Oh, you're not tan enough. I can't make your world champ, huh? Yeah. That's good shit, pal. Okay. Anyways, enough of the Vince McMahon, <laughs> Vince McMahon impressions. Boy, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this whenever this video comes out. Everyone's like, what are you doing? Are you losing your mind? You think you're funny? Oh, stupid internet dweeb. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, so, okay. Um, so, real quick, just a fast review on this. Uh, paint job's great. Posability's great. Face scans on both heads are really good. Head swap, all right. The accessory with it, uh, this and the microphone are pretty good. Um, I'd probably give this figure a solid 7 out of 10. Not a must-have by any means, but I guess if you're going to add a Cena figure to your collection, I mean, this pseudo first appearance Cena is a, kind of a good option. And obviously, if you can get this thing at your local Target at that clearance price, like I mentioned... Uh, it's a hell of a deal at that point. I mean, especially just for this accessory alone, uh, that's pretty great. So I, I definitely uh, would recommend picking up if it's on clearance. If it's the regular retail price, maybe not so much. Maybe hold off. Uh, but with everything that comes with it, the you know quality of the figure is great. Um, I, I, accept, I, I, I give it. It's, it's a solid figure. Not mind blowing, but definitely uh, something cool. And even if you use it to you know play with your kids with or whatever. Um, like this would be a cool figure I'd probably get for my sons or something like that if I found another one on clearance, but who knows. Um, but all right, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Remember to check out my Instagram at Collecting Raj. Remember to follow me over there, and then also remember to subscribe to the channel. Still trying to get to that 100 uh, subscriber mark so I can do that video tour for you guys. But that's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for uh, Ernest Cena here. And, of course, uh, I'm going to play us out, pal. Thanks for checking out the video. Go back and look at my other stuff, pal. It's good shit, pal. Well, that's going to do it for now. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, pal.